Hi Omies, I'm Simkoya. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Koi Pond. So today I wanted to come on here and give a quick update as to what's been going on. But first, I want to get into The Sims. So this is the Rogers Bell family. They are some of the first Sims that I created in The Sims 4. So actually the Sim that you're seeing right here was born in game. I created her parents, but um, she was created in cast through like the genetics feature. And I'm using this lovely skin blend by Divine Cap, the Gaia skin blend. I think it totally elevated her look. She looks so beautiful. Anyway, um, a couple weeks ago on Twitter, The Sims 4 posed a tweet. They said, hey Simmers, what's your favorite playstyle on The Sims 4? Are you more of a storyteller, builder, or stylist? And what are your tips to new players trying to explore your favorite style of play? Well, I replied and I said story. Um, back when I created these Sims, I was clearly more concerned with the story of my Sims <laughs> than I was with their looks. And um, yeah, so the story that I created for this family was based around Jada, more so than her, um, her fiance. He was more of a side player that I added in there because I knew I wanted her to fall in love as a teenager. But anyway, so to sum it all up, Jada is a Sim who had a difficult relationship with her mother as a teen and she desperately wanted to become a mother. She wanted to be a better mother than her own was to her. And so I did download the Wicked Whims mod at the time because I wanted her to get pregnant as a teenager. And y'all, she tried. Like she tried all the time. She was all, it wasn't even sneaking. Um, what is her fiance's name? I can't even think of his name right now, but she wasn't even sneaking him in. She was just bringing him over because she despised her mother so much. She disrespected her and she was like, I don't care. I'm going to have a boy in the house. I don't care that I'm underage. I'm a teenager. So yeah, he was spending the night all the time. They tried and tried and tried and she would not get pregnant. And so Jada's father actually, oh gosh, he is a serial cheater. Um, him and Don Lothario should have been best friends, but I actually don't even think they met in the game yet. But anyway, it just so happens that her mother and father got pregnant and Jada got a little sister. Jada was furious about this. Like she couldn't stand that her mother had something that she wanted so bad. But luckily she did not take that out on her little sister. She loved her si little sister so much. She just really didn't like her mom and she just didn't like the fact that her mom was able to like have a piece of the joy that Jada really wanted. So after Jada graduated high school, her and her boyfriend then, or then boyfriend moved out and bought a house. So her boyfriend, actually his parents passed away but his grandparents left him and his brother money so they could get homes after they graduated. He has an older brother who's already living out on his own, but they used that money to buy a house in Willow Creek. And when they moved in, you know, they tried and tried and tried and tried and still no luck. Jada was always super sad and depressed about not being able to get pregnant, but the day finally came and they got pregnant and they had a son and they named him Chadwick. And yes, he is named after the late, the great Chadwick Boseman. I believe he was born sometime after Black Panther came out. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna name him Chadwick. And then when the real Chadwick passed, I was like, oh my gosh, like I have got to go back and play with this family some more. I had a totally different plan for Chadwick, but after that happened, I was like, you know what? I think I want him to honor his namesake and become an actor in the game. So he's currently a scout, but I do want him to complete the scout badges if he can. Um, and then by the time he's a teenager, I would like for him to, uh, join the after school actors activity so he can get started on that acting career but um yeah so since jada finally became a mother you know her and she's older now her and her mom 
they still don't see eye to eye, but there's a little more respect now. You know, they're not always arguing. They just really only get together for family holidays and that's pretty much it. You know, there's no come over to the house and have dinner or let me come and visit you. None of that, none of that at all. But anyway, Jada's rough upbringing with her own mother has inspired her to want to become like a mommy blogger. She wants to be a vlogger. So her and her fiance are actually both in college right now. Jada is working in the social media career and she's building up her skills and building up her following so that she can, you know, start vlogging and share her story about, you know, how it was hard to conceive and what it means to her to be a mother and how she wants to break the, you know, generational curses of, you know, that angry parent figure um and she just wants to be the best parent that she can to her to her son and she would love to have more children but you know we'll see when that happens because for real guys it is not easy for this couple to get pregnant and that is definitely a real situation um so they are super grateful for the son that they do have but if they can have any more kids they definitely will but another one of jada's goals is to so in the game right now it's winter in the new sim year her goal is to buy a new house so that she can start a club for other moms and they can gather at her house so because right now the house that they have is like super tiny and packed like there's not much room whenever her family comes over for like oh speaking of family um her and her fiance love to do like themed looks for the holidays so they definitely had like an all pink look for love day once and this was their little christmas um dinner outfit and i don't i guess it was the new skin tones update or maybe it's um my gaming laptop but the makeup was not this harsh on my macbook pro and so now I, I literally just have to go in and update all of my sims makeup because their blush looks absolutely crazy the lipstick is so bright it's just it's a hot mess but yeah so um that's what jada wants to do she wants to start a club for other moms and um i think that's about it as far as this family goes for right now let's see if i left anything else out not really okay but now on to me <laughs> so what i'm almost two months into having this youtube channel and i've been having the best time i absolutely am so grateful for you guys i'm so happy that y'all are enjoying the content especially rosie in the city that means so much to me because gameplay and let's plays are my gameplay is my favorite way to play you know i'm really not a builder i'm trying to get better at cast but actually playing and creating stories and full lives for my sims is what I love the most and it's the content on YouTube I love to consume the most so I'm really happy that you guys like the story that's developing with Rosie but my goal of this channel has been to put out two to three videos per week and I've been doing that up until this week and that is because some of you guys know that I'm a mom, I have a son, he is nine months old, and he has been under the weather since last weekend. So he had a little bit of a fever and he was just a bit clingier to me than normal. So he was pretty much attached to my hip or boob because I breastfeed. And so it's been really hard to get away and edit any footage because this video in particular I actually cre re recorded this like a while ago um but I just got to I just got time to actually edit it this week so um yeah I haven't been able to get to my laptop and edit any content but I do still have a goal to get two videos out this week so today is Friday this video should be up today and then I should have an episode of Rosie in the City out also. Not today, but this week. <laughs> so um, before February gets here, 
I will have hopefully published two videos. And if not, just be gentle with me. I have a little son who needs a lot from me right now. He is feeling better. And thankfully, no, it was not COVID. But you know, babies just get sick. And so luckily throughout his life, he really hasn't been sick much, aside from like an uh, occasional vaccine, you know, little temp like fever thing. But, um, but yeah, so he's doing much better now. And I was able to get away for a little bit so that I can edit this video. But I just wanted to get on here and talk about that. Also, another one of my goals, I did have a goal of getting to 100, 100, <laughs> 100, 100 subscribers for this month of January. And since I have like four or five videos that I did not even get to put out, I figured that wasn't going to happen. But there's like 80 something of you guys here and that just blows my freaking mind. Like in real life, I know maybe what five or six maybe seven people who play the sims so the fact that there's like 80 of us here who love the sims and that you guys support my videos and we get to talk in the comments or on twitter like y'all are really amazing and i love you so much and i'm so grateful that you're here so i'm not even mad about not reaching the goal i'm just really glad that you guys are here and that you're vibing with me and that we can grow together so thank you for becoming a part of my journey. I appreciate you guys so much and I do not want that to go unnoticed. So we're getting towards the end of the makeover here for um, the fiance and the son. I pretty much, I didn't change their looks too much. I just updated their skin tone so they looked a little more vibrant and had a little bit more life. And since Chadwick is a child, I didn't want to change his face too much. I figure once he grows up and becomes a teenager, we'll really be able to see um, what he looks like and if he needs much of a makeover. So that pretty much wraps everything up. Um, thank you so much, especially if you watch this far. Thank you for your patience and me not getting the amount of videos out that I've wanted to in the past week or so. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you join the Koi Pond. So until next time, peace.